hi viewers uh, welcome to my channel again and uh, today we are going to solve the Cambridge GCSE ICT 2016 May June paper 3-1 web page part so let's start in this part of the question paper before we continue with the web page we need to prepare our evidence document with our name center number candidate number on the top in the header of the document and then we need to save this document as 1631 evidence and then your candidate number so here we have the files so we'll open the evidence document insert then include in the header your name center number and candidate number just like that and then after your candidate number that's all now click on file and save this one as your evidence document and at the end you just need to include your candidate number and then save it as a word document just click on save so now this document is saved into your work area and next step is that task 2 web page so you are going to help some training develop web pages for the Manta conservation project so the first web page will be part of a website used to raise awareness of and get donations for conservation projects around the world so what you are going to do is you need to create a folder and then you will name it 6031 underscore html so we'll do that right click and then there's create folder on desktop folder is created and next step is to locate the following files into that folder so we have already these files here we we'll select them all we do not include the csv file and the evidence document and then we copy the rest including these three flags copy and then we just go to our folder here and paste all these files in that folder next step is to move forward that a trainee has started to create a single style sheet to be used with the website the style sheet was not finished and contained a number of errors so this is what a style sheet a student has created we need to open that one first 1631 style sheet so suitable software package i always use the front page there is some other programs as well like web expression for example i open the front page here and then i will just uh, click on uh, open here and then we'll go to desktop and then we'll go to our folder and we'll select the file 1631 style sheet so this is how it looks like now the web page and style sheet must work in any browser all color codes are hexadecimal make sure the style sheet contains no HTML, the specification for this style sheet are. So this is what we need to include in our style sheet. So this style sheet, one is created, it's not finished. So we need to complete it. So for completion of this one, first of all, I'm going to remove this all from here. And then we'll start accordingly. Like we need a table with the external grid line, two pixels, internal grid line, one pixel, all grid lines are solid and all borders are collapsed so format style first i'm going to choose table modify format border we need a bullet border here solid with two pixel then just click on ok 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 this is done and then we'll just copy the same and we'll include this one for table data tt 
So this one will be one pixel this time. And here I'm going to say border collapse and then it is collapse and then we'll just include this one also in the TD code with the semicolon and then include the code that's it so we are done with for the table now and moving forward they said no table header and footer details so we have nothing to do with the table header and footer now h1 so we'll include here um, in the next line format style and then all styles h1 modify so what we need to do with h1 this h1 must be having a color code for the font uh, red 33 percent green 0 and blue 66 and helvetica neo but if it is not available we can choose calibri and if calibri is not available then we need to choose any sans serif font in this case like that and then the height of the style must be 36 and center line so what i'm going to do for it first of all paragraph i'm going to choose this one for example center line click on ok now font so for font i'm just going to choose first the color code so as they have mentioned that we want r 33 percent right then green zero percent and blue 66 remember the sequence is r g b first is red then green then blue that's done and then this one is 36 pt point yeah center line and now we need to see here we want helvetica new here if it is not available then calibri and then if it is not available sense serif font and just click on ok here click on ok and ok so you can see here h1 code will appear here with the font details and all other details as they mentioned then after h2 we are going to have h2 now with the aerial font right align and alignment is and sorry the font size is 18 so just do something very simple just copy this one and uh, just paste here yeah just to improve it and this one is your h2 now yes and it is right aligned so just mention here right align and then after color code you need to change it is rgb so r is 33 green is 0 and then blue is 99 this time so we'll choose this one and then after we want only aerial form so we remove this all and we just type here aerial yes and then after the font size is 18 pt this time yeah sorry yeah 18 pt that is done now after this all like as you can see now we are done with the h2 as well now what we are going to do we have another style that is called B paragraph now. So paragraph must be again R G B. So B is only 08, the rest is 00. So 00, 00, and then 08. That's it. And then we want only sensory font. So we choose this one. We remove the rest and we want only sensory font. So we just here like that and the font size this time is 14 point and it must be left aligned that's all and then after background color so for background you just need to go to format style then tag html tags then body modify format and then you just go to border 
shading and the background color code you can choose here and the color code is RGB 99CCFF 99CCFF that's all this is what the color they need at the background and then after they have mentioned correct and complete this style sheet using the information above and save this style sheet 1631 uh, underscore HTML folder as 1631 ST followed by your candidate number. So we will click here file save it as 1631 ST and then my candidate number into the same folder. So click on save. So the statute is created. Now next step is take a screenshot the content of your statute and place this in your evidence document as evidence one. So print screen and then just go to your evidence document here and then just place here the screenshot of your style sheet and then you just crop it. So this is how it will look like. You can even crop this part and then make the size of the style sheet bigger so that the contents are clearly visible. Now, next step is to analyze the style sheet started by the trainee and evaluate the contents. So, what was there? What was there? So, we just open it again here to check what it was. So, it was only having a table in th and td, and the border width is four pixel. So, always the format is absolutely wrong here. We have nothing to do with the table header and then we don't need 4 pixel it is supposed to be 2 pixel so we will just evaluate it here into our evidence document we will start evaluation here by saying that syntax of style name and these brackets correct and then after number of styles missing from the style sheet yeah. and then also uh, style th created but not required as I mentioned we don't need to do an adder and, and then after syntax incorrect like equal sign it should be a column just like that and then after four px not correct or it must it is written for px it must be uh, it was written here for pixel the whole spelling but we just need only uh, px so that's what we were missing with that is what the evaluation is and then the next step is step number 25 uh, here open the file 1631 mantra.htm using a suitable software package now so again i'm going to use this one we close this statute we don't need it at all and then click on open here and we will open this web page here 1631 mantra this is how it look like now they ask us to do what attach the style sheet that you saved in step number three so format then style sheet link add and then we'll go to the desktop here to our folder so here it is and then we choose here our style sheet so when you attach the style sheet it will look like that now next step is to replace the text candidate name center number candidate number with your name center number and candidate number so where it is we just need to write here create it and edit it by so your name then your candidate number and your center number as well 
India 0297 sorry this is my candidate number make sure your candidate number is the same as you are given so just delete this one and next step is to replace the text place logo here with the image 1631 logo so here is the text so insert and then picture form and then we choose logo this is what we have and then after make sure the appropriate text is displayed if the image is not available so just right click picture properties and then go to general text and then mention here Manta logo that's it click on ok and next step is to make the image 1631logo.png a hyperlink to send an email to the email address tmcp at ca.org and then the subject line is tmo so right click on this image hyperlink an email and then email address we just need to mention here tmp tmp tmcp then at the rate cie dot org dot uk and then after we need to type here tell me more as a subject click on ok now moving forward to next step select the most appropriate images from those saved in step 2 and use them to replace the following text we need to include now the place uh, place flag of Fiji here here we need the Fiji flag so as I mentioned here we need to uh, you may use the file 1631 flag start PDF to help you so we'll open that file this is the one and then we'll look for the Fiji flag so this one is the Fiji flag here so we'll just insert picture from file and this is the Fiji flag and then after next step is to insert uh, the Honduras flag here so Honduras flag is uh, which one this one so here just choose insert a picture from and this is what is the required picture and then here Indonesia we need to have get Indonesia as well so we'll click on format sorry insert and then picture from file so that's a picture of uh, Indonesia and then after Maldives as well so for Maldives we need to go and check yeah this is a Maldivian flag insert and then so from file this is Maldives flag done now close this file and move forward they said resize images to 140 pixels wide so all the pictures right click picture properties and just mention here 140 nothing to do with the height right click picture property and that must be 140 pixels wide right click picture properties and just mention here 140 click ok and right click picture properties and 140 done now save the web page so we need to so we are done with it now and next step is you need to save a page yes save as and uh, I will save it okay just save it done and next step is to uh, display the web page in the web browser and take the screenshot of it so uh, we will uh, display this into the web browser file preview in the web browser so as you can see here the borders are not collapsed so as the borders are not collapsed here so right click first of all and go to 
table properties here yeah, is everything all right here yes here uh, border collapse and uh, it is uh, collapse yes here the spelling mistake collapse yeah now click on save and uh, we'll, uh, save this one and again preview into the web browser let's see this time how it will look like yes it look like this now what you need to do is you need to take a screenshot so in this case you just reduce the content so you can have a clear view for example like this and then you just use print screen and include this one into your evidence document as your evidence number uh, 3 and then you just crop the unnecessary part of this picture just like that make sure the contents of your web page are not this tab here like all the content must be clearly visible that's all and then next is your uh, html code the copy of html source and place this in your evidence document so go to your web page click on code control a to select all then control c to copy and just paste them in as your evidence form that's all and next step is the trainee has started to develop the Maldives page for this site the page 1631 Marta the image 1631 Marta one tf has been supplied to them to be included on this page so examine the file 1631 Manta.tif explain in your evidence document why this image is not suitable for inclusion on Maldives web page and what you could do to enable it to be used. So definitely web pages only support the file format in JPG, GIF or PNG format. So we need to type our evaluation here that why it is not suitable and how to make this one suitable so we'll just uh, mention here in our evidence document as uh, evidence number five that image size is too large for different uh, efficient download sorry for efficient download and then after T I F format a GIF formatter cannot be used in all browser browsers and then after image needs converting to bitmap graphics or graphic and then save with lower image resolution and image could be cropped as well and image could could be reduced in size so that's all and next step is to uh, edit the web the file 1631 to make it suitable for the web page so to make this suitable what i'm going to do is we'll click on this uh, image and that is tif format right click and we'll open this one with 
I am going to open this one with the paint program just to save it as file save it as jpg or jpeg format then uh, desktop into the same folder yeah I am going to save it it is done now close this one it is converted already you can see here when you refresh your brow, uh, folder here you will get the image mantra with the jpeg format as well yes there is tif and it is uh, sorry sorry i have uh, saved this one into my resource files which were provided earlier yes we'll uh, get it from here yeah we'll just uh, click here first of all to get view which one is the uh, file tif yeah, that is what I have converted so cut it from here and save it into your folder actually so that you can include later on so close this one and now moving forward that place this image in the web browser uh, 1631 maldive.htm so we'll uh, close this one we'll go to your web page and then we'll just open another web page here Maldives and place the image here so insert image or picture from file and this time I'm going to use this image here yeah so when it is included here what you can do is yeah it takes screenshot to show your edited file so you will go to your uh, uh, folder here and this is your edited file so you just uh, yeah like it can be seen here clearly just print screen and then include this one into your uh, evidence document as your evidence 6 and then just crop it that how you have edited this image it is here and just make the image or the size of the screenshot bigger and now moving forward that to attach the style sheet to your web page so when I have included the image the image size is uh, so big here so what I can do is to make it uh, smaller I can even uh, reduce the size of the image as well like if you look at some very big image right click and then uh, picture property so it is 4000 pixel let me choose this time 600 pixel let's see how much it is now so it's almost correct now or you can make this one a little bit more bigger like uh, 700 just to fit into the web page yeah and now next step is to attach the style sheet to it as well format style sheet link add the same style sheet you created in step number three that's all and next step is to do what replace the text candidate name center number candidate number with your name and center number and details so here I am going to type my name, then my center number, and then my candidate number. That's all. And now you need to save this web page as well. Save it and preview into the web browser. So when you preview, it will look like this. Now you just increase the zooming a little bit. Yeah, and print screen and just paste it into your evidence document as evidence 7 again cropping is required here just like that you crop it and then the next step is to take a copy of your html source code for this web page a code control a copy and then just go to your evidence document and place this one as your evidence 8 
that's all and that's the end of the web page part of this question paper so hope you have learned how to deal with the web page and you understand how to insert the pictures how to attach the statue to the web page so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates